the most polluted road in one of the most polluted cities in the world. EDSA is Manila's main highway. Two and a half million vehicles travel down here every day, each one of them belching out noxious fumes. So it's a surprising place to find people creating artworks. But the aim isn't just to brighten up the daily commute. These artists are using special paint, which cleans the air. And they're making these murals all the way along the road. The paint is made here in this factory. And this is the part of the process where the special ingredient is added. Its trade name is Crystal Active. And when it's exposed to light, like when it's put on a wall on a busy road, for example, it reacts with the water vapour in the air and it sucks up the pollution. Johnson Onking is one of the brains behind this new paint and he's confident it can make a big difference. One square metre of Noxalt painted surface was cleaning as much nitrogen oxide as one mature tree. You know, so if you look at these artworks, each of them are 1,000 square meters. It's like we're planting 1,000 trees. It's easy to see why Manila was chosen as the test case for this paint. It's one of the five most polluted cities in the world. And the constant grit and smog causes thousands of cases of asthma and bronchitis every year. Environmental scientist Nifel Lagrosas often goes out to measure pollution levels. Yep. Now it's alarming. And uh, that tells us that the air is really, really unhealthy. So how effective do you think this paint is going to be? These, these paints uh, actually can get roughly around 20% of uh, nitrogen dioxide. That's already a good number. However, if you take a look at the whole air pollution in general, that is just a fraction of what's supposed to be. Manila's population is increasing every day, and so is the number of vehicles on its roads. This new technology might not exactly be able to paint the town clean, but at least it's making a small contribution, one brush stroke at a time. Kate McGowan, BBC News.